What's up guys? My name is Mike, this is my wife Chris, and our channel is all about improving your landscape photography skills and finding your artistic vision. We've come here to the beautiful Death Valley National Park, one of my favorite parks. I feel like I say that in every video. We are heading out to one of my favorite spots, by far my favorite spot. We are on one of my favorite hikes, one of my favorite spots, one of my favorite areas. <laughs> anyway, I love this park, it's so great. I've been here one other time. I'm excited to come back and explore it. Uh, we're up here at Zabrinsky Point area and uh, these mountains are absolutely gorgeous. But today's video, we wanna talk about something now. A few videos ago, we were in the North Rim of the Grand Canyon and we mentioned uh, wanting to do uh, buy like a trailer or a rooftop tent or something like that. And uh, well, we decided on, I think it's gonna be a rooftop tent. I think that gives us the most flexibility but uh, the thing is, we want to keep it within our photography budget. Now, Chris is actually a full-time photography now. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, I'm actually not. I'm an electrician, and I've been doing that for about 20 years. But the goal is to be a professional landscape photographer and do this full-time. So instead of me just using my money for my other job and just buying a rooftop tent, uh, the goal is to try and make money with photography and buy our photography gear and trips and, and fund all these things that are really uh, photography specific and this rooftop tent is going to be mainly used for our photography trips. So what we're trying to do is use the money we make from our photography and buy this rooftop tent. So we wanted to talk a little bit about how we make our money with our photography. Now, before we go on, I'm gonna take this shot because we've got some excellent light on the background here. You guys can see, I'm trying to concentrate on talking to you guys, but you can see the color in the background here. So give me a couple of minutes. I'm gonna take these shots here and then I'll get back with you. thing I want to talk about is photography workshops and this is where we get our main income right now. So quickly I wanted to mention that we just announced another workshop and it is uh, during the monsoon season up at the Grand Canyon and uh, if you're interested in that see the link in the description. With workshops being our biggest source of income it's also our biggest expense. Here in the US when working inside national parks or BLM land you need special permits. These permits require commercial auto insurance, liability insurance, and also special training in CPR and first, uh, first aid wilderness. You also have to book hotels and rental cars and so on in advance, so that is an upfront expense. We're doing a scouting trip for a potential workshop next year in February, and uh, what you have to keep in mind is that you have to invest all of this money for this trip, and also your time being here and going to all the locations, doing all the research. Well, my apologies for kind of cutting you guys off on the last clip of Chris talking about the workshops. We had to get second breakfast. It was kind of an emergency. So right now we just decided to pull over on the side of the road and walk out to the, what looks like maybe some salt flats. We're not really sure. It's a uh, kind of just exploring a little bit and seeing what's out here. It looks like we may have some water possibly. But the next thing we want to talk about, how we make money, is through uh, post-processing tutorials. So uh, one project that I've been working on for a while and something that I'm going to continue to do is have 
uh, post processing post processing videos and I just released my very first two uh, very basic videos you know Lightroom and Photoshop kind of for beginners and uh, navigating around the software and getting familiar with all the tools things like that so I just released that and uh, We'll be continuing to work on that project as far as releasing stuff like uh, exposure blending with luminosity masking and then start to finish videos with uh, you know really complex things like uh, exposure blending and focus stacking and things like that. So that'll all be coming up here. Um, that'll be like I said an ongoing project but that's another way we uh, kind of make money is through those kind of post processing tutorials. Alright guys, we got the tent set up. We're getting ready to have some uh, some dinner here, I think, before we head down for sunset. We got the salt flats kind of behind us here. Well, actually, we just ran into Ben Horn, one of my photography idols. The guy, I'm a huge fan of his channel. Uh, he was actually out doing a, if you guys follow him on Instagram, he has like a parody account called the Wilderness Influencer, I think is what it's called. And uh, where he has like a little figurine and he does like little Instagram-y, you know, trendy stuff and kind of makes fun of the whole Instagram culture. Uh, it was really cool. We got to chat with him for a few minutes. So uh, that was pretty awesome. And I, I said, I've been watching his channel for a long time. So I knew he was out here. I reached out on Instagram, told him if we saw him, we'd meet up and we passed him and uh, pulled over and just kind of said hi real fast. So anyway, uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, setting up a newsletter and how important a newsletter is to... Um, putting out your your products or your workshops or whatever it is you're doing uh, I think that's super important you know like I said we have these tutorials we have these workshops and the best way to really get that out is with a with a newsletter you know we talk about it here on the channel we announce workshops and things like that but uh, with YouTube uh, you kind of don't want to be really salesy and I think that's kind of important you don't want to have every video where you're trying to sell something most of our videos we just kind of do our you know photography thing teaching and stuff like that but every once in a while we do you know offer uh, these products whether it's a workshop or something like that so uh, but I really do think that the newsletter is important and if you're willing or if you're wanting to make this a career or wanting to make money from it uh, I think really a newsletter is so important. Also what I'm really hoping is this is the last time you see us uh, here in Death Valley and we're gonna make a couple videos out of this but hopefully this is the last set of videos where we're gonna be actually setting up in a tent because uh, I want to talk about my other form of uh, my other revenue stream and that is licensing images. This doesn't happen very often but I do license images once in a while to tourism companies, tourism boards, uh, things like that or you know magazine covers, editorial type stuff so I'm actually uh, getting ready to license an image to one of my local uh, tourism companies they reached out to me on Instagram and wanted to purchase a, a license so if that happens which I think it will uh, we're in negotiations right now uh, when we do that it's actually gonna fund our rooftop tent hopefully so that would be kind of cool now when it comes to image licensing it is a such a broad and hard to pin down aspect of of you know professional photography because there's so many different types of usages and um, time limits and things like that on these so uh, one of the things that I know a lot of people ask about and a lot of people wonder about is how to price your photography when it comes to licensing and things like that and my best bit of advice would be to look on uh, if you just google Getty image calculator uh, you can put in all the different types of uses and the length of time and things like that and it usually can kind of get you somewhat in the ballpark or somewhat of a starting point because like I said and it all depends on the the customer as well a lot of times if you kind of let the customer ask them what their budget is or what they if they have any kind of number in mind that can also be a starting point or if they're asking you to come up with a number then that Getty image calculator can be kind of a starting point but you have to kind of know your audience to know the local local tourism boards if it's a big one if it's a small one and uh, it's just like I said that's why you don't get a really solid answer when it comes to that particular question because it's just such a wide subject and it's um, my, my advice and my kind of approach to it is start high and then you can negotiate down it's better than underpricing 
uh, your work because that's something you really don't want to do and that's something that's happening more and more or giving your images away for free with things like social media and things like that so so my advice would be just to kind of price high maybe and negotiate down and uh, you'll be surprised a lot of times these customers and these people wanting to buy these images will um, will pay top dollar for it so so another source of income for us is obviously YouTube what, it, what you are watching right now and uh, yeah it may come to a surprise to you but we actually don't make any money on YouTube <laughs> Well, it's it's a very you know like a small amount and um, yeah, so we make a little bit of money from YouTube with the videos that we post, um, and then also we have affiliate links that we use from time to time. Uh, you can see them down in the description when we have our gear listed, and that will also give us a little bit of money there. Another thing with YouTube is sponsorships. We had companies reaching out to us in the past, but there was you know like nothing really that would be a valuable partner for us and also brings value to you guys. So we are looking into this right now and maybe find a partner that you can that we can team up with. All right guys, well, we're heading back down now to our sunset spot. So we will finish up talking to you guys then. We gotta go find a spot here on the salt flats down in Badwater Basin, uh, set up for sunset. And then we will talk to you guys a little bit more about income. Alright guys, well, well I'm setting up here to take my sunset shot. The sun just came up, or sun just went down behind me in the mountains here. Uh, I've got some really cool patterns in the foreground, so I'm just kind of waiting for the, the actual sun to set. I'm really wanting this color in the sky. There's some really high altitude clouds, so um, I'm excited to see. I think the sky might light up pretty well. So, um, But also the last thing I want to talk about when it comes to uh, what we're doing for making money or what we plan on doing is uh, prints. So prints are probably um, one of the hardest things for myself and Chris both on working on how to sell. Uh, it's not something we really concentrate too much on. We have some up on our websites and things like that and uh, we'll sell some every once in a while but it's really not um, a significant source of income at all. Uh, not something we push but it is something we want to do here in the future. Maybe things like art shows uh, we're looking into or you know maybe approaching galleries and things like that. But it's, uh, like I said, really a, a tough one to do. Uh, selling art and selling photography as, uh, as art for prints and things like that. It's, uh, I find it anyway very difficult. And so that's one of the things that I definitely, Chris and I both need to work on and want to work on. Uh, as well as in the future here, I got the idea of a book as well. So uh, calendars maybe at some point, maybe next year, I think I might finally do a calendar. Uh, Chris and I are talking about different projects like that, you know, calendars, books, things like that. And so we're going to be providing you guys with some updates on these things. Uh, if you guys see the rooftop tent on the truck, then you guys know that I sold that image. So um, yeah, like I said, we'll try and do some kind of uh, some updates on some things. And if you guys aren't already signed up for the newsletter, sign up for it because I do put out all my products. I kind of give out what we're doing for that month, what we did the past month. Uh, just a little bit of update of, of, of everything that's going on. Yeah, I'm going to take this shot here. You guys stay tuned for that and thank you guys as always so much for watching if you're not already subscribed hit that subscribe button and we will see you on the next one bye